Hey Nancy Drew fans, so due to popular demand, I'm filming in the office today. Nancy Drew is an expiring character, but who brought her to life? The book jackets say Carolyn Keene, but Carolyn Keene was actually many writers. They were a part of the Stratmeyer Syndicate, and they brought Nancy to life, as well as the Hardy Boys, from the 1930s to the 1980s. Throughout the years, women have been writing mysteries and thrillers that have been just as impactful as the women who wrote Nancy Drew. So get out your summer reading lists as I share with you some more books by some awesome women mystery and thriller writers. Agatha Christie was a British author who wrote in the early 1900s. She wrote mystery books, plays, and she even created two really famous detectives, Hercule Poirot and Miss Marple, just like Nancy. One of my favorite books that she's written is And Then There Were None. It follows 10 people who were invited to the island and become trapped on the island. And while there, they keep getting murdered in ways that are linked to a common nursery rhyme. But who's the murderer? Veronica Roth is a young American author most known for her work on the Divergent series. In the Divergent series, a young girl named Triss grows up in a futuristic city, it's Chicago, where everyone is assigned a role in the community after taking a test. After failing the test and escaping quarantine, Triss puts on her detective thinking cap and unravels the mystery of who she is and what's happening to her communities. Roth creates a really neat world and an exciting story that keeps you guessing. Gillian Flynn's novels are not for the faint of heart. This American author, screenwriter, and comic book writer has written three thrillers that all of which have kept me on the edge of my seat. My favorite book of hers is called Sharp Objects. It follows a Chicago reporter that is sent to her hometown in Missouri to investigate serial murders. And going back to her hometown, it really brings up some of her past demons. It's a really thrilling read. I couldn't put it down. So this is more on the fantasy end of things, but J.K. Rowling has really created a masterpiece with her magical series, Harry Potter. The first few books are fun and whimsical, but as the series unravels, Harry realizes that there's more to see than meets the eye. He takes the rest of the series to figure out and unravel the mystery of how his life intertwines with his enemy. I admire how Rowling is able to keep the mystery alive throughout seven really large books. Think a book should be on this list? Do you want me to give you more recommendations for what books to read regardless of the author? Leave me a comment! Before I go, I want to share with you something really cool that's happening this summer. Airing next week, the Her Interactive marketing team is going to be sharing with you a Nancy Drew inspired mini-series on YouTube. Tune in next week for part one of the ghostly adventures. Bye!